Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is right here. This is from Outlaw Brew Co. Um, it is 5.8, no, sorry, 5.6% alcohol. This is the Bronco Copper Ale. Boom. And you can see there's the spade up there. Uh, they have a spade back here as well. This is a brewery here in Ontario. Born and brewed in the country. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Uh, Outlaw Brew Co. Inc. Uh, I'm just trying to see uh, Southampton, Ontario. Southampton, on the beautiful shores of Lake Huron. Um, I'm not even sure where Southampton is. I know there's a Southampton Brewing Company in the U.S. that makes a lot of beers that I am not a fan of. Uh, thank you very much, Joe, for bringing those ones up, especially that beautiful pumpkin beer from them. I'm really excited that more breweries in Ontario are canning, and I'm really excited that more breweries in Ontario are getting to the LCBO, uh, especially now that you can order for home delivery from the LCBO. And I know a lot of people will go, Hey, Chad, you live on the border. Why don't you go to the U.S.? Well, first off, I don't have a passport at the moment. And if I get a passport, that's only part of the problem. Then I have to find a way to the U.S. and back, and to a bottle shop in the U.S. I am blind. I do not drive. So i got to get across the border, and get to the bottle shop, get back to the border, get back to my house, and i got to compete with the, uh, with the almighty dollar, which is uh, <laughs> not a very good... Uh, uh, rate of exchange and craft beer over there I would say is close to the same if not a little more expensive than craft beer over here. Um, a case in point things like our, our Utopias which is a one, 112 over here and is usually close to 200 US over there sorry 114.95 over here or things like when Pum King was being sold it was being sold cheaper here in Ontario than it was being sold for in the US when it's from the US so things like that um, Beautiful beer. It had a nice off-white head. That is a beautiful red color. I love that. It is so dark that I, that I can barely see my hand, but I can. I can see it. Uh, beautiful looking beer, though. Beautiful looking beer. Scent. Ooh, almost like licorice. Yeah. Caramel and licorice. Oh, that smells good. So yeah, continuing on my thing, yeah, I could walk across the bridge, take a taxi to uh, Amherst, take a taxi back to the bridge, walk across the bridge again, and then walk to my house. I could do that, but then I'm paying, what, 20, 20 bucks US each way in taxi cab, plus buying my stuff, plus paying my, uh, well, plus hoofing it across the bridge and then back home. It's just not worth it to me. Yeah, this isn't a spectacular, well, th these things are considered turds by most people, but it, it's not that bad of a choice. I mean, if I had feasible ways across all the time, yeah, maybe I'd go across and get a whole bunch of stuff. But there's so much stuff here in this province that I can support and try. Let's try the beer. Oh, that's a nice beer. That's a hang out with your buddies and just drink all night beer right there. Medium bodied, light carbonation, just tingles on your tongue a little bit. A little bit of a roasty flavor. Uh, you get you get that licorice flavor that you smell that I was smelling. I'm picking up licorice flavors. I'm picking up caramel. I'm picking up like a toasted molasses, almost almost like a. Almost like a uh, treacle or something like that. Um, but yeah, caramel, molasses, a roastiness, licorice, and a earthy dirtiness with a little bit of burnt wood on the back end. This is a solid little beer. This reminds me, this copper ale really reminds me of like a, of a slightly more roasty Irish red. That's what it's reminding me of. Uh, I, I really like this beer. It's not anything spectacular, it's not anything complex or mind-blowing, it's just a solid beer. 
excuse me. That is nice. And it was what, under three bucks a can, I do believe? I don't have my uh, my form anymore. Out of 10 on this beer, give it a 7.75. I don't think it's worth an 8. I don't think I would put it in, uh, in like, starting to get up to world class, like great and world class beers. But I, I do think this is a solid, everyday drinking beer. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be in to see you soon. Outlaw Bruco's Bronco Copper Ale. Bye-bye.